My second prize candle, which was the Island Citrus Scent. I burned it a little bit last night and I burned it all day today. It is ready to come out. I waited longer than I did last time and I've actually kind of loosened it a little bit just so that it won't explode out of the candle. Now the scent on this candle smells the same as when I smelled it before it was burning, but I don't know. The last candle and this candle both have about an equal throw. Um, the scent isn't that strong at all. I've had this candle burning in here as I was getting ready to go to work and thinking this is a smaller room than the room downstairs so maybe it will fill up this room a little bit better than downstairs but I don't know I'm still not really smelling much of it it smells good but it's just not very strong so that's something to consider when you are purchasing a jewelry candle if you're just kind of looking for a jewelry candle you you know your primary purpose is just to get the ring then that's one thing but if you would like an equal you know a really great smelling fills the room and nice jewelry kind of candle then you can refer back to some of my previous videos and check that out we're gonna go ahead open this and see what we got that was a lot easier to pull out the ability to appraise these with the code makes it more interesting than just pulling the ring out and checking to see if there's a marking or anything like that and I think most I could be wrong here, but I think most jewelry companies have adapted that theme now as well. I want to say Diamond Candles has, and when I reviewed Diamond Candles before, to me it was fairly new. I think they'd been around for a little while at that point, but I, they weren't doing that. Man, the, these things fill up with wax. Oh, that's interesting. These candles smell better after you pull the ring out. Like it's filling up the room now. That wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Wow. Alright, so first thing I'm noticing is the ring is huge. It is not going to fit me. That looks like a wedding ring. It doesn't seem to look real. Yeah, it's too big. That's really, really, really pretty. I'm going to go downstairs, see what this appraise is for. I wish that they would tell me what it's made of. Oh, no, this is kind of cool. Please visit prizecandle.com to view the value of your prize. Your prize code is 98786. And then they've also given me a code to use for $5 off my next regular priced purchase. Okay, so I'm gonna take this downstairs and see what it appraises for. All right, I'm at pricecandle.com, going to the appraise section and putting the code 98786. Seven, eight, seven. Ten dollars. Wah, wah, wah. That's all right. It looked a little too uh, too good to be true, if you've ever heard that phrase before. And this ring is huge, so I'll probably just try to give this to someone. I will probably not do another prize candle review. I actually have two other companies that I'll be looking for a deal on their website to see which candle company I go with next. So stay tuned, and as always, thank you so much for watching. I will say that the appraise element to these candles is, oh. all right, I gotta, <laughs> I'm a little excited now. Heck, what do I do, what do I do, what do I do? I don't wanna get the ring all waxy. Nine, eight, seven, eight, six. Nope, try it again. Take out. Pork chops is fine. Pork chops. Vita cheese? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And probably baked potatoes or something. I'm so okay with baked potatoes.